Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, happy 4th. Happy 4th of July. Happy birthday, America. It is uh, your day, and uh, especially to all my American friends and family, uh, happy 4th. And, you know, and all of us who are citizens of the world should be happy for the Americans. They're having a celebration to celebrate their country. Uh, just because it's good for us to be joyful when other people are joyful. And uh, so therefore, my American brothers and sisters, a uh, happy 4th of July. Now, for Canada Day, uh, just a few days ago, I did an updated what can we expect in the next year. I did a comprehensive uh, 2024 United States predictions. And uh, so this is just a little update uh, for July 4th, for the birthday of America, just uh, little predictions of what's going to go on in the next year. Now, some of my predictions for 2024 were quite bold. Uh, I did predict that Biden would resign before the election and somebody would be brought in. And I said it would be a female. And I also predicted that it could be Michelle Obama. I got a lot of thumbs down <laughs> over that remark. And... Uh, Hold on tight. It may just happen. All right. So that being said, I don't want this to be political at all. I just want an update. What's going on? One of the other things I predicted is that the election would be called off, uh, not canceled completely, um, but delayed. It will, would not happen in 2024. Uh, so I'll see if that shows up in the cards again. So we're just going to go really basic. Tarot of Traditions and... We're just going to use the Tarot of Traditions. Uh, go really basic and uh, see what's happening. Okay, cards are ready. Ooh, Page of Wands in reverse. Well, we're definitely going to hear some bad news. And it's going to be bad news that um, continues to grow. I've always said the page of wands, when that wand is put down, it takes root and then it flourishes. So page of wands news would be like news of a pregnancy. Well, that takes root and becomes a baby or a birth of a baby. Then that per that baby is born and becomes a person. Now that can also be bad news. So that could be like a lawsuit. And then that lawsuit grows and becomes, you know, a, a big issue. So this is big news that is bad news, but it will not go away quickly. It's bad news that grows. Uh, death in reverse. Ooh, we might hear the death of somebody very important. In, and my death card in reverse is death. It is the death card. So we may hear of a death of somebody very important. The emperor. Oh, no. That kind of took my breath away. Nine of Wands in reverse. And Temperance in reverse. Who? Um, I think that uh, this, the person is embattled. The Emperor who is embattled. Well, the Emperor is the President. Uh, there's no other way for me to say this. He is embattled and they will be, he will be ending um, it, it, definitely. This is, and this is the first rule. This is going to be very important uh, for United States for the next year. This is going to set off a lot of things. I think that um, it's also going to create a lot of strife. It's going to create a lot of uh, embattlement. People are going to be embattled. Uh, not everybody's going to agree with this decision, uh, but there's definitely a leader who has been embattled already will be ending. Uh, I know I said my death card in reverse is death. I think it might just be the death of his presidency or the death of his ability to move forward. King of Cups. Well, that's him. He's a Scorpio. He's the King of Cups. It's the end of the King of Cups. 
I'm calling it right now. I've called it earlier. I mean, I and I you can't even say I'm reading into the cards. Look, how can it be more clear? Uh, Seven of Swords. He might fight it, you know. Eight of Cups. No, he's going to be reminded it's time to move on. It's time to move on, President Biden. And, uh, you know, this actually, guys, this actually might be his death. Um, I'm not saying anybody's doing anything untoward him, but uh, we, and we have to remember, this is the birthday reading. So until July 4th, 2025. So this, he may pass away uh, in, in the next year. Four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, he's, he's lost control. He's definitely lost control. King of pentacles. Now, this I keep getting. Nobody likes to hear this. The moon. Uh, the king of pentacles, of course, is Donald Trump. Uh, he's the wealthy billionaire. Uh, he's, you know, he's retired. He's successful. Um, he plays in New York in the stock market. Um, ah, interesting. The moon came up. This is the um, illusions, hidden, reflective. And what I'm, what I'm happy to see, three of pentacles in reverse, what I'm happy to see is that I'm not getting a lot of fighting. I was actually kind of concerned, and I might read on it later, if with, with the election, the way the election is going, I'm getting that there, you know, some, some kind of, of minor civil war breaking out. Uh, no, no, one side is not going to be happy with the other side kind of thing. Uh, I think that, I mean, both, both candidates are right here. King of Cups and King of Pentacles. They're, they're right here. The King of Cups, though, is on the death card and the Four of Pentacles in reverse, meaning that would be the, his next four years he loses. Now, there's something going on here that's illusion. Illusion, confusion, um, that what, what we're seeing as reflective is not the truth. There's hidden truths in all of this. There is um, just illusion. I don't know if it's so much confusion. It's, it's uh, just the moon card is like lunacy. <laughs> So maybe like a crazed voter or or whatnot. Two of Wands in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse, Eight of Pentacles upright, Five of Swords upright, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. All right. So you would, the United States is definitely going to be winning the battles but losing the war. Um. I think, you know, I think work, I think job, job numbers are going to be fantastic. I think uh, some burdens that the United States have are going to be laid to rest, whatever those burdens are. There's no real plans for the future, though, here with the plans and the two of wands, the three of pentacles, the two of wands. There's there the there's really no plans you know, how do we get ourselves out of this mess? Um, I think it's almost going to be, um, I want to say fight fire with fire. I normally don't say that. So that's interesting. I think jobs and prosperity are going to do well with this eight of pentacles. It's the best card for jobs and prosperity. Uh, but like I said, it's winning the battles, but losing the war overall. Uh, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Wands. Well, there is the celebration. There's the um, the successful election, but we we also have the patience, the Star in reverse, and Six of Pentacles in reverse. This election, oh, interesting. I pick success on the Star. This election, you're going to have to wait for the outcome, and it's and it's not going to be fair at all um it's not going to be the way 
the majority wishes. Now, I don't, you know, you can read into that what you, what you will. There will definitely be, here's the four of wands, here's the ceremony, but you're going to have to be patient for it. It might, um, might take a while to get there. And it's not going to be the outcome that people want. It, it will definitely, I think it's going to be, um, yeah, with the star in reverse and, eight, and nine of cups in reverse, I think it's, it's going to be, I want to say an unfair fight. Uh, with this six of pentacles in reverse, almost I'm almost getting that it'll be like a lopsided uh, vote for some reason. Um, right? It's not going to be very balanced, very fair. I think it's going to be a kind of a lopsided vote. And I just don't think I'm just with these three cards here. I'm not getting that. It's going to be uh, very accepted, accepted. I'm really happy to see I'm not getting a lot of strife and fights and protests and arguments. And um, I'm almost wondering if the ending of the emperor is going to calm people down in some respects. Um, I'm not getting that, that the United States is going to go in, like I'm not getting like some of the war cards, for example, are just simply not here. Uh, the aggressive cards, the, uh, like for example, uh, Knight of Swords, uh, the, um, well, the devil card, for example, um, I can't think right now. They're, 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 oh, the five of wands, right? The five of wands. I'm just really not getting that, that there's a lot of um, fighting, arguing. I'm getting that people will not be happy with the election or the results of the election. I honestly believe that you're going to have to wait a long time for the results, uh, for, for that um, party to, for that, well, the four of wands here, the, um, I know you guys have it in January. What's it called? Oh, I can't, I can't, you know what exactly, you're probably like typing it in the comments right now. Um, you know, where they confirm the, the, I want to say confirmation, but that's at, that's at church <laughs> confirmation, uh, that they, that the president, you know, takes, accepts the results and takes oath to the office. I think you're going to have to wait for that. And I think a lot of people are, are, there's going to be more talk that it wasn't not a fair election. Uh, definitely, definitely. And it'll, it'll almost be like, we're going to hear things like the majority didn't win somehow. The majority didn't win the sun in reverse, page of swords upright, nine of pentacles upright. And, oh, there's the devil in reverse. And the queen of cups in reverse. You know, it could actually be. It actually could be a female We don't know who uh, who the uh, VPs are running. A female is going to really be very prominent in the next year. A very successful female. And that's interesting because a lot of the very, very big successful CEOs, your Elon Musk, your Bezos, your Bill Gates and whatnot. Um, they're all males, but I'm getting that we're going to see a female rise to the top here within the country and come out of the dark, the dark horse. That's what I'm getting here with the sun in reverse. Uh, we're going to start to hear like the dark horse, um, maybe running things from behind the scenes, maybe maybe queen of cups here in reverse this is actually the cancerian card and this is because the united states is a cancer 
And uh, this is telling me that people will 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 kind of be upset this year. Um, there's going to be some sort of ooh, ten of pentacles in reverse. I'm thinking this is inflation is still there's this is still running amok. There's going to be a real nostalgia, a real going back to basics, going back to the past. Strength in reverse. Queen of Pentacles, upright. I think there's going to be and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay, so I think the, the economy is going to suck large. There's just no other way to say that. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Strength in reverse. I think there's going to be a real pushback to going back to basics, to going back to, especially here with the Queen of Pentacles, uh, going back to... Um, doing things the way we used to do it um, for, for some reason, whatever that means. I think we're going to be very practical. The Queen of P Pentacles is very practical. Interesting, we're getting, uh, you know, a lot of female energy here. I think we're going to see whether it's the VPs that are successful, um, whether... Um, uh, I, it, you know, there's stronger women in government. I think we're going to see some sort of return to um, stronger traditional females. This isn't toxic femininity. This is being strong and practical and um, back to basics. I just keep getting back to basics here with this Six of Cups. Back to... Um, yeah, and you know what? People do that when the economy is bad, isn't it? You get, you become more frugal. Uh, you learn how to plant a garden. You learn how to, you know, fix your own clothes instead of buying new ones. I think we're going to see a lot of that. Even though we, we're going to see jobs and people will be working hard and they'll be making money, I think with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I think we're going to see still with the strength card in reverse, I think we're going to still see a lot of um, inflation and the, and the overall economy not doing fantastic. So I think that's, especially with the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse. So I think we're going to see the, the rise of the traditional female, um, you know, like I said, learning to fix your own clothes, uh, learning to make do with what you have, um, planting gardens. Um, I, I think we're going to, we're going to see that even though people will have jobs and they're going to be working hard, it's going to be tough to keep up with the, with what the economy is doing to people. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of back to tradition. I, and I just keep saying that I keep seeing that it's almost like to go forward, we have to go backwards, two steps back, you know, one step forward. But sometimes you have to take one step back to take two steps forward. Like you think runners, like pole vaulters, they take one step back before they take off, that kind of thing. So I think, you know, we're going to we're going to see some of that. Uh, we're definitely going to see the ending of one of, uh, of Mr. Biden. I'm not saying that he's passing away, but we, this is, I, I can't be any stronger. King of Cups on the death card. And like I said, I'm not seeing that he's passing away. I'm seeing the end of his um, presidency and the end, and he will not be going four years forward. That might be where the female is rising. It could be. Maybe um, whoever replaces him um, is a female. And I've called that as well. And that could be what the, the female rising is all about. Um, but we do have the King of Pentacles there. And I've called the King of Pentacles on uh, uh, Trump sitting up. Um, but he is on the on the Eight of Cups. I don't I, I'm getting a feeling like he's not in the best of health either. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll have two females going for it. <laughs>
All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I sure appreciate you. Please take good care and thank you for your likes. See you online. Bye for now.